contact tracing is a term you will undoubtedly hear more about in the coming days and weeks. But in order to understand what it really means and specifically how it could be the key to reopening Georgia, we need some context. My name is Joseph and this is AJC in Context. Now, our wonderful reporters, Courtney Kippers, Tamara Hellerman, and Jay Scott Truby have a full story on this. So if you don't feel like watching me or you just want to read their work, there'll be a link in the, the description to all their stories. I think it's important we understand what contact tracing is, then how it can be used in the real world, and how it can be specifically implemented in Georgia. So. For this entire thing to even work, scientists must find the first carrier to contract the virus. This person is known as patient zero. Then scientists use map data to trace those who might have come in contact ah, with patient zero or anyone they infect. This process can also be used to spot potential hotspots like a subway car or a grocery store. And because the growth of this virus is exponential, if the infection is nipped in the bud, it could save many lives. In fact, this technique was used in, in Illinois with some interesting results. Now, according to, to the Washington Post, the outbreak of COVID-19 in Chicago can be traced back to two family gatherings, a funeral and a birthday party. So rather than put the entire state on lockdown, just those specific people would need to social distance. So how does this apply to Georgia? Well, this approach has become a cornerstone of the governor's plan to reopen our state. In fact, the state's top health official, Commissioner Kathleen Toomey said, this has really shifted to become our priority focus in the weeks ahead. This is the way we're going to stop the virus. Now, with sectors of the economy reopening in the state, Kemp is putting resources into this method and an increase in testing to help contain the spread of COVID-19. This effort includes hundreds of trained state employees and volunteers. Tracers are to reach out to those who have tested positive for coronavirus, then offer help and inquire about those recent close contacts. Those close contacts are then notified and put under quarantine. If they test positive, this process repeats for, for their contacts, and so on and so forth. There's also a way to do this digitally, but that would take like an entire video to explain, so if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Now with shelter in place and other restrictions being eased in Georgia, independent health experts aren't sure that the state has the resources to deal with new outbreaks. According to them, that the state may need thousands of contact tracers. And to understand their trepidation, we need to look at Georgia's history in funding public health projects. Chronic underfunding of public health has hindered its response to this pandemic, said Allison Chamberlain, acting director of the Center for Public Health Preparedness and Research at Emory University. Now, the incubation period for this coronavirus is only a few days, meaning that public health officials don't have a lot of time to trace the steps of the infected before they infect someone else. The coronavirus represents a, a challenge on, on a far greater scale than any previous public health crises, Health Chief Toomey said. Georgia has more than 25,000 confirmed cases as of recording this video, and many are believed to be infected but not tested due to shortages. It's literally going to take a village of us to work together to do this, said Toomey of Contact Tracing. So, now that you have all that information and all that context, we want to pass the question off to you. Do you think this makes it more likely to, to resume normal life? Do you think this will work? Do you have privacy concerns? Why or why not? Let me know any and all thoughts in that comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there, if you like this video, if you like the way we break down the news and don't want to miss a video, feel free to press that subscribe button, press the like button if you like this video, favorite if you really liked it. But as always, internet, share it with some who needs the information and the context, but my name is Joseph and this has been AJC in Context.